New solar energy initiatives may be on the horizon for Puerto Rico. That was the topic of focus for Governor Pedro Pierre Lucy in his State of the Territory address on Tuesday. Francis Felix tells us more about this hour-long speech as the governor fights plummeting ratings and growing discontent from citizens. Governor Pedro Pierluisi focused his third message on the state of the country situation on summarizing the achievements that he attributed to his administration in the 27 months that he has been in command and in which he mentioned past promises, such as the construction of a hospital in Vieques, and made few announcements, like $100 million of federal funds that will be invested for a new voucher program in which middle-class families will be able to pay up to 30% of the cost of a solar system with batteries for their homes. Corruption, economic development, reconstruction, health, education, and energy security were other topics that Pierluisi developed during the message that was attended by 215 guests from La Fortaleza. Among those absent during the event at the Capitol was the resident commissioner in Washington and potential rival of Pierluisi for the government candidacy in the new progressive party, Jennifer Gonzalez. Pierluisi began his message that lasted for an hour and 30 minutes, warning that he will talk about the achievements of his government, although he say it is clear that for his administration, it represents a great challenge to face the social and economic challenges that have accumulated for years, especially after hurricanes, earthquakes, and pandemics. The governor quoted the phrase, the future is not what is going to happen, it is what we are going to do, by the Argentine writer and poet Jorge Luis Borges, to emphasize that for him it means making things happen. Among the most relevant information offered by Pierluisi, it stands out that he announced that he will present a preliminary version of the budget before the Fiscal Oversight Board. The central government budget or general fund will amount more than $12,000 million, while the consolidated budget will amount to $31 million. This is the highest consolidated budget since the imposition of the Fiscal Oversight Board. Governor said he is fighting against corruption and said he had zero tolerance and impunity for any act that leads to this crime which is mostly dealt by federal authorities. Very important point in his message were the reconstruction of the island that has barely taken a couple of steps. Five and a half years after the lashes of here against Irma and Maria, the governor assures that it, this is a matter that it's going from strength to strength. Reporting from San Juan, Puerto Rico, Frances Felix for One Caribbean News.